what I am. I am what I am. I mean, debate coach. Look, Romney had a debate coach, and Obama had a debate coach. Frankly, I thought Obama was terrible, but uh, Romney got worse and worse every time there was a debate. I have to be myself, Don. I if it, and if it's not good enough, that's okay. I'll have uh, you know, I'll go on to other things. I'll ride into the sunset and do some more buildings and create some more jobs, and that's okay. I'm doing this. I want to make America great again. All right, folks, joining us on the Malsberg panel, Brent Fadowski and Kurt Schlichter. Brent, of course, is writer for The Hill, thehill.com, former aide to Senator Lloyd Benson. And Kurt is a trial lawyer columnist at Breitbart.com and townhall.com. Gentlemen, welcome. You both uh, have written uh, great uh, pieces about the, uh, the race, via Trump or Hillary, et cetera. So let me start with you, Brent. Um, you, uh, you refer to the uh, GOP Frankenstein and talk about how this is an opportunity for Trump because of the way the party has uh, morphed and, uh, and become a party of divisiveness. Oh, absolutely. And, and I want to I wanna just make a brief comment about what the chapter that will not be in Donald Trump's book. Uh, if you take a close look, I am wearing a Donald Trump tie right now. Okay. I have and, several and of them, yeah. Yeah, and it says Donald J. Trump. Here's the little uh, yeah. in gold, but it's really polyester. Um, but if you go down to the bottom, what you will find for this man who talks about Mexico and this man who talks about the outrageous trade deals that China does to victimize the United States, what it says at the bottom, I don't think you can read it, uh, but maybe I'll give you a chance to read it in a minute. It says, Hesha Mano Wan Chinwa. What that means is made in China in Spanish. Made I, mean, I couldn't. I, I couldn't make that up if I tried. Okay, made in China. In Spanish. You're, you're going to cut the tie. Uh, this is from the man who says that the Chinese are ripping us off. So you. What a phony! You, 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 what a phony! On behalf of American workers, I just cut the tie. Now, if we had long enough, but I don't want to take away my colleagues' time here, I could finish the job. That's the chapter that's not going to be in Donald Trump's book. The man who talks straight, he claims, makes money from ties made in China with a label written in Spanish. What uh, a all phone. Right, all right, Kurt, you, wanna, you got anything you want to cut? <laughs> well, what, <laughs> well, well, look, I'm not wearing a tie, so I'm, you know, I, I, it's buy America or buy nothing for me. But hey, look, I don't know why the Democrats are getting so excited over Donald Trump and the Republicans. They've got, uh, you know, gaining on Hillary is a guy who has proudly adopted the mantle of an ideology that murdered 100 million people in the last century. You know, who's crazier, Donald Trump or a guy who admits to being a socialist? I think I'd rather go for Trump. Of course, Trump's not going anywhere. Trump's just voicing the, uh, the he's just the voice of a bunch of people who haven't been listened to by a bunch of people in Washington who find it more important to do things like pass pork barrel highway bills, then stop the murder of children, stop Obamacare, stop the sellout of Iran. You know, if the GOP starts listening to its own voters, Donald Trump, well, you're fired. All right, all right, guys, I, before we, I, I could go into Hillary and her emails and the batch that was released today, much of it redacted, uh, and her, her unfavorability, dishonesty, all that, all the problems she has in the polls. But I want you guys to hear this. Uh, this is uh, the head of the DNC yesterday, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Watch and listen. What is the difference between a Democrat game? and a socialist? <laughs> I, I used to think there was a big difference. What, what do you think it is? The difference between is the Democrat, like Hillary Clinton, the, the and a socialist, like Bernie is Sanders. What's the difference between uh, being a Democrat and being a Republican? Well, what's the bigger difference? What's the big difference between a Democrat and a socialist? You're the chairman of the Democratic Party. Tell me the difference between you and a socialist. The, the relevant debate that we'll be having over the course of this, this campaign is what's the difference between a Democrat a and a Republican? All right, she can't answer it, uh, 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 Brent. So tell me, you tell me what it is. The difference between a Democrat and a socialist? Uh, uh, Democrats want to break up big banks so they don't rip off customers. Socialists want to nationalize the means of production, which is not what Bernie Sanders is saying. 
obviously not what Hillary Clinton is saying. And why couldn't so she that, answer, why couldn't she answer the answer question? Right. Why Hold couldn't on, she let, answer let the question? I just heard Kurt compare Democrats to Nazis, and I heard you compare Democrats to socialists. Give me 30 seconds. I don't have 30 stop. seconds, Brent. I gotta, I, well, Brent, Brent <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you Kurt, tell the ahead, truth. Kurt, I was comparing seconds. socialists to socialists. What are you and if you want to throw you're national afraid socialists afraid in there, too, that's up to you. But you don't need to to run the bloodbath total over 100 million. And hurt customers and rip off people on high credit card bills and mortgage fraud. That's what Democrats are against. All now, right, but Brett, 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 that, Brett, why couldn't Brent, Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Would say. Brent, why couldn't Debbie Wasserman Schultz answer the question? Debbie Wasserman Schultz doesn't speak for anybody, quite frankly. She's the head of the DNC. <laughs> well, the, well, that doesn't mean she's. All right, Kurt, anybody. fifteen seconds. Kurt, go ahead, finish. Well, De Debbie Wasserman Schultz couldn't explain the difference between a Democrat and a socialist because there isn't a difference. The Democrats <laughs> have embraced this failed ideology. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. This led to nothing but murder and Brett, misery. Brett, get a new tie. Get a new tie. We're coming back, folks. <laughs>